In the next six to 10 seconds, you will see a red pill coach get absolutely destroyed by a woman with good values. Enjoy. I could probably take your girl if I wanted to. Being able to take a cheating woman from someone is not a flex because then a man who's better than you will come along and just take her away from you and then what? Then what? Loyal good men don't want women who cheat anyway, so take those women if you can and they'll find women who won't do that. And not all women will cheat on their man, no matter who comes along. Trust me. Well, seems like these red pill coaches, such as this Austin Dunham, is just another fool who thinks that cheating and stealing another man's girl somehow makes him an alpha male. So let's break this one down, shall we? If that YouTube little tiny clip I just showed you at the beginning wasn't enough to convince you, I'm going to break this down because I know many young men have been deceived by modern dating advice from these manosphere and red pill freaks which has done nothing but mislead you and tarnish your view of women. Yes, there's bad women, but gentlemen, there's also good women. But if you yourself are not a good man and you have bitterness, resentment, hatred, anger, you're like an incel, there's layers that you need to peel off before you're able to even fully recognize or appreciate the qualities of a good woman. Because this whole mindset that you can steal another man's girl as if it's some type of trophy or honorable medal to pin on your chest is a lie. Let's break it down. Proverbs 6 verse 32 in the Bible tells us that whoever commits adultery with a woman lacks understanding and he that d does it destroyeth his own soul. Very harsh punishment for that. But ask yourself, would you be friends with a guy who's trying to steal your girl? If he's willing to hit on your woman, if he's willing to do those things, what does that say about his character? As a man, you're supposed to believe in honor, integrity, loyalty, and that should go for anything in your life, for your friends, your family, your career, your business, how you treat those around you. Going after another man's woman says a lot about you, does it not? And this is why red pill dating advice is delusional. Any man who claims that he can cheat on his woman or get involved with a woman who's already unfaithful to another man and be proud of this is a man with low self-esteem, no integrity and no self-control. And you should stay away from their advice. You know, and I've been coaching guys for years. I've had lots of case studies come in. Those of you that are familiar with my YouTube channel, you've watched a lot of my monkey branching case studies. And I can't even count how many I haven't even bothered to post where you always see the same pattern with these people that cheat. You start dating someone, they tell you, I'm not happy in my relationship, you get involved, oh, I'm stealing the girl away, I'm, a, I'm much better than him, I'm more powerful than him. Next thing you know, she's cheating on you. Just like the, little, just like the, um, the lady said in the video, good women don't cheat. And it's like, if you think, of, if you think you're so cool because you came along and stole this, uh, this guy's girl, some other guy's gonna come along and do the same to you. And then what? You can't steal a good woman in the same way you can't steal a good man. Masculine men are loyal. You couldn't steal me. I only have eyes for my girl. That's it. You could, 50 women could run after me and I'm like, no thanks, get the hell away from me. Because I'm loyal. That's how loyal men are. And it's the same thing for a good woman, guys. Any guy could come up to her. If she loves you, she's not letting a single guy get close to her. She'll stay away. Really is that simple. So the reality of stealing another man's girl, let's really look at this for a moment. A woman who is willing to cheat on her current boyfriend or husband will do the same to you. Any relationship that begins with infidelity will end the same way. And there are exceptions where you may meet a girl and you don't know she had a boyfriend. You don't know that, you know, maybe she had a husband. And you find out later on because they're lying to you. Fair enough. In those cases, when you find out, you should still walk away, obviously. But there are cases where you know, you approach a girl, you get to know her. I have a boyfriend, I have a husband, I want to keep it on the down low. You willingly involving yourself with a woman when you have that knowledge makes you a fool. And you are actually partaking in her unfaithful activity of adultery, which 
poisons your character, makes you less high value, right? Makes you less of a man because you're a cheater. You are now somebody who's not trustworthy. This is not, there is nothing masculine about stealing another guy's girl. That's not a flex. It just points to your low self-esteem, your lack of integrity, and your lack of self-control. What, you can't keep it in your pants? You have to run after a girl who's taken? What does that say about you? Be very careful. Okay? Because, guys, maybe you're at work, maybe you're at college, maybe you're at the gym, and you're single, and you start a friendly conversation with a girl, and she just casually brings it up. Oh, I have a boyfriend. Oh, I have a husband. If you hear those words, walk away. That's it. Don't get curious and think, you know what, she's really hot. Maybe she's having a bad time with him. I'll be different. I'll fix her. I'll save her. I'll, I'll change her. Right? No, just stay away. Because here's the reality. If that woman truly has a boyfriend or a husband, especially if she has a husband, right? I mean, married. And she's willing to get close to you when things aren't going well with her man. Do you not think that if you were to commit to her, and things go bad with you, she's not going to do the same to you eventually. Things start to go bad, you run into the same problems, next thing you know, she's lining up a replacement. Because you're getting real-time information from your interaction with her, that what she's doing to her current man now with you, is what she's going to be doing to you when things go the same way. When things don't go well with a woman with integrity, she will A, try and work it out with her man, and if it doesn't, she will just walk away, be single, heal, and then find someone else. Because no woman that values loyalty, especially when she's committed to herself to a man and bonded with him emotionally, has the capacity to go off and get close to another man. Only cheaters do that. So be very careful with thinking that, oh, she's really beautiful and I'm going to change her, because it just does not work. Next is, if you're willing to go after a woman who you already know is in a relationship or married, then you're just as unfaithful as she is. And it's only a matter of time before this lifestyle catches up to you. Do you know how many stories there are of guys? There, you're the other man. You're the one who's cheat. well, she's cheating on her husband or boyfriend with you. Do you know what happens to some of those boyfriends or husbands when they find out? They get violent. They get aggressive. They may take it out on the woman, which is wrong. Man should never attack a woman. But these guys sometimes will take it a step further. And when they're full of anger and vengeance, it's difficult to stop a guy like that. And they'll come after you. This is when you think everything's going good and the guy comes after you with a baseball bat or a weapon or something of the other sort and he ruins your reputation or he attacks you physically. Which can lead to other consequences, such as uh, loss of life, loss of limbs, permanently maiming you, or damaging your reputation in your workplace. There are so many negative consequences by you involving yourself with another man's girl. Especially if you get involved with a guy who has money or influence and connections. And if he's not a guy who's just going to let it go and walk away, you get involved with the wrong man. Oh boy. Now you're going to really feel it. And it happens. There's many cases. There was a guy a few years ago. I'm not going to say who he was, but I, my mentor taught me this when I was younger. There was a guy, there was a, a girl, and she was cheating on a guy. And the boyfriend always had his suspicions, but he never really found out until later on that she met a co-worker, and she basically told the guy... He from the beginning, oh, he's just my boyfriend, it's not going to work out with him. So the guy just started dating her anyway. He thought he's lucky to get her, right? Because he had low self-esteem, he didn't know any better. So they start dating. And they were invited to a friend's wedding. So she, as her plus one, this girl takes the, the new boyfriend who she cheated on the real boyfriend with. So when they leave the house, the guy waits, he parks in, a, in, a, in a, an alleyway or whatever and he hides somewhere with a gun so the girl when they come back from the wedding friend's wedding she comes back with the new boyfriend walks up to the door 
Then the ex-boyfriend walks up with the gun, shoots the, uh, the other guy in the head, turns to the girlfriend, the ex-girlfriend, and says, look at what you made me do. Puts the gun in his mouth and blows his head off, right in front of her. So now, obviously, this woman is traumatised, okay, because obviously the guy she was with gets his head blown off, and then the ex blows his head off in front of her. I mean, you reap what you sow. Some guys will take it so far that they will commit murder, but then they'll kill themselves. Or worse, they can kill the woman as well. I mean, it happens in stories like this because you get involved. This would have never happened if that woman, who was so unhappy with her boyfriend, simply just walked away, stayed single, took some time to heal, and then found someone else. And this guy took it into his hands. And it's like, in his mind, it was justified, right? I'm being cheated on. She cheats on me with a co-worker. I'm going to teach them both a lesson. And now that woman is traumatized. But hey, she learned her lesson, right? Don't she? So you don't want to be the other guy. Because if you get involved with a woman who's with some guy who's a whack job, even if she comes up to you and your date and she's like, oh, you know, but I'm not really happy with my boyfriend. I'm not happy with my husband. You just tell that woman, hey, lady, you got a husband or a boyfriend? Figure it out. I'm not going to get involved. And find yourself a woman who's single, willing, and ready and able to date. And she doesn't have no drama. There's no ex in the background. Because you can get crazies. And it happens. The story I just told you happens. And if you think it's funny, fine. Go live that lifestyle. Go steal another man's girl. Until you come across a guy who's jacked up and he's ready for violence. And then you lose your life. This is destructive behavior, and this is a chain of effect. This is a, a chain of events that are entirely preventable by you not getting involved with a woman who is, has a shady past. There's a boyfriend in the background. There's a husband in the background. Things don't seem to add up. This is why I teach guys to vet women from the beginning, which for the new people here, there's a lot of stuff on my YouTube channel about this. So this is the reality of stealing another man's girl. Not only is it poisoning your character and your reputation, but it can really set yourself up for some very dangerous consequences. So in conclusion, a man who is worthy of love is one who is loyal. He expects loyalty from a woman because he offers his full integrity, his faithfulness and honour to begin with. He's loyal in all his endeavours, whether it be towards his family, his friends, the woman by his side and to God. Therefore, a real benchmark for a man of integrity is to have a godly woman that cannot be stolen because she loves you and would never allow another man to get close to her. Now that is what you need to be looking for. If you want a real flex in today's modern times, go get yourself a good woman who's loyal, who no man can have access to. Now that is a flex, especially for you guys who want to have a family and have a a marriage you want to have a traditional life find yourself a good beautiful woman that's loyal who's going to raise your kids well and be loyal to you and that is what you need by your side and it's what i'm here to do i teach men to find the woman on their dreams and master their relationships righteously and if you would like to learn more about that and get access to what i teach you can join my relearning relationships community i'll leave a link down below it's only five dollars a month so for the it's cheaper than a starbucks coffee and you can sign up there's monthly group calls you get access to all different sorts of courses that i've created and you get more private one-on-one -on -one time with me so with that said hope you've all enjoyed the video again stay away from these degenerate red pill coaches that make a fool of themselves okay it's time for to really think about relationships as a whole and you're dealing with a you're dealing with someone's life here so Again, stealing with another man's stealing another man's woman is not a flex. It just makes you less honourable. It makes you more more of a red flag. Good women are going to stay away from you, and you're going to have to really rebuild your reputation if you've lived this way. But it's not too late. And for you guys who have never done this but you've considered it, I hope this video has stopped you from making any stupid mistakes. With that said, hope you've all enjoyed the video. God bless all of you and your families, and I'll see you all in the next one.